Hey, what's going on guys? Salmon season is finally here and today I'm going to be showing you one of the best ways to rig up your leaders to your hook and that's using the egg loop. Now the egg loop can be used in so many different applications from drifting eggs for salmon and steelhead to fishing for trout, kokanee, um, panfish, bass, catfish, you name it. It is a great way. It's kind of a, one of those all-purpose ways um, for tying and snelling up a, a uh, hook to a leader. But before I get going, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date with all the content from this channel. All right, let's get after it and tie that egg loop. Come on. Got my hook. I've already pinched the barb down using a pair of needle nose pliers, so it's barbless. And I'm going to simply pass the line through the eye hook, the hook of the eye, just like that. Okay? And I want my tag end to go about where the bend of the hook starts, right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna pinch that down with my fingers and I'm gonna start making wraps. And when I wrap, I'm gonna wrap behind the hook eye, keeping it close to the hook eye, and I'm gonna put one wrap behind the other, working it back towards the bend. So go in that direction. So here we go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven's a pretty good number right there. Then I'm going to simply pinch it with my index finger. I'm going to pinch it to hold it down, just like that. Now that I've done that, nothing's going to come undone. I'm going to take my main line and I'm going to follow it all the way to the end. And I'm going to grab that end of the line. So I've got it right here. Now I'm going to take that end of the line and I'm going to pass it through the hook eye. Just like that. Except for when I pass it through, I only want it to go through maybe about an inch or two, okay? No more than that. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna hold everything together and I'm gonna pinch it all down. With Now I've got it between my thumb and my index finger, everything's pinched down. So this is the line that I was wrapping with. You can see right there, it's coming off of the wraps. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna continue making wraps towards the rear, that direction. So I'm gonna take this, I'm holding everything tight so I can take a little pressure off and I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. You can go more or less. I just happen to do seven for this demonstration. And that's uh, also what I use normally is seven wraps. All right, now that that is finished, I'm again pinching it between my index finger and my thumb, keeping it so, so that it doesn't come unraveled. Now I'm gonna grab this main line and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just slide while holding this, kind of not tight, but just holding it so it doesn't come unraveled. I'm gonna pull this main line, okay? I'm gonna pull it and get, now you can see the, this is shrinking up. And I'm gonna pull that all the way through, just like that, okay? Now that that's complete, one thing I like to do just to test everything is I like to take a pair of needle nose pliers and I just tighten everything down. So I grab this end, okay? This is the tag end. And I grab my main line and I just pull, snug everything down, okay? I do that just to make sure that I don't have any frays or it doesn't snap or when I was wrapping, I didn't accidentally wrap over one another. Uh, wrap over one of these other loops as I was wrapping. Now that I'm finished, this is where the egg loop comes into play. You can see as I back this main line out, I'm backing it out, I get this nice loop in here. And this is what you'd put your eggs in or a piece of prawn meat or a piece of fish or worm or whatever you're gonna use for bait. Now I told you earlier, I like to do uh, drift fishing on rivers. So what I've done is I've already cut a piece of yarn. This is about one inch of black yarn and I'm just going to stick it in there and cinch down this egg loop like that. That's what it looks like. Then when it is fishing in current, it folds back just like that. Okay. All right. And to finish this off, what I've done is I like to fish uh, corkies. So I've got two orange corkies, which is a, a pretty common color to be using uh, for salmon and steelhead. I've got two here. So there's one thread the first one on, grab my second one, and I'll thread that one on.
And there it is, the complete setup. And I'm telling you right now, this I've caught multiple fish on this and I've never had one come unwrapped. Alright guys, the egg loop. It's a simple and effective way to tie a leader to a hook. Give it a try. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out the other content on this channel. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Until next time, take care.